never knew what I wanted to be when I grew up. Um, I wanted to be on my feet, I wanted to be challenged every day. So I went to NC State for my Bachelor's of English and then started teaching kind of by accident. Went back to NC State again, got my Master's in Education. I love teaching in the sense that I loved educating students. But then thought, you know, if I could just not think about what makes sense financially at all, if I could do anything, what would I do? So I went to Durham Technical Community College for an associate's degree in automotive technology. I loved it. There are a lot of connections between what I do now and what I used to do when I was teaching. When I was teaching, you start off with a plan. You don't know how it's going to go. You don't know what's going to happen in class. It's the same working on cars in the sense that you never know what's going to come into your bay. Even if you think it's, you know, simple tire rotation, it may turn into something else if, the, if our guest doesn't know that they have an issue with something. So it's exciting in that sense. I have worked at two dealerships now. Here at Johnson, it is completely different. Being a female in the shop, I think, is a unique experience. Um, here, I think it's seen as an asset, which hasn't been the case in my past. <laughs> you know, I know Mr. Johnson planned for female technicians. There's a full locker room that, for the time being, I get to enjoy all to myself, and I love it. <laughs> the fact that I'm, I have a space for me here just says so much. I mean, just I have a locker room doesn't sound important, but the fact that there's equality built literally into the foundation here, you know, I mean, that's huge. I would recommend that people bring their vehicles to Lexus because I don't think people can imagine the amount of knowledge that's in that shop. And, and when you take all that knowledge and you focus it on one specific manufacturer, um, you have a, a shop full of experts. I don't even know how to describe to people how emotionally and you know psychologically it's so different in there because it's it's clean and it's bright you can see what you're doing the expectation is that you clean up after yourself so not only is it a clean shop but that kind of filters into how people behave i think you know the tile floor when you go in i mean it's like a showroom all on its own for me it's been really fulfilling i hope that i can stay here for the rest of my career i mean I, at this point, I don't see anywhere else being any better in terms of who I work with, who I work for, the work I'm doing. It's a great place.